All right. We're in the car driving to my closing. And you guys, I'm going to show him. Uh, we're probably going to come across um, a few of his buildings. I'm going to try to show it to you guys. Remember, guys, I started out with nothing. And by my wildest dreams, even seven or eight years ago, I never dreamed I would have owned 50,000 square foot office buildings. And I also would have never dreamed 2,000 miles away I'd be buying 100 unit apartment complexes. Real estate's an evolution. And it, quite honestly, it's a great opportunity for you to, um, you know, grow and, and do a lot of cool things over time. Awesome. You know what, um, boss, what is the best? People always ask me, like, what is the number one tip to succeed in this business? The number one. Dude, take action. Action plus action equals massive action. Just do it. So many people think about doing it. So many people will get the call and do nothing about it. Do it. Go forward with it. Keep doing it. And it's going to work. And also, too, you guys, I'll make sure that I will put uh, my mentor's YouTube channel and his IG Instagram in the description. I've, only got, I've only got 540 followers. Just started it a month and a half ago. I'm probably going to put, you know, I, I haven't been big on social media. Um, I, I started it seven or eight years ago and really cut it off, kind of. I'm going to put a lot of stuff out there and, um, you know, maybe give some free real estate advice every week or something. There you guys have it. So, um, you guys, if you guys want to follow him, Kong, Kong's the best prodigy a guy could ask for. You know, <laughs> he comes to me, talks me into coaching him into real estate, and takes off like I haven't seen. I've only coached two people, and both of them are very successful. And Kong, uh, by all means, has a huge success in his own right, making a couple hundred thousand a month wholesaling, working ten hours a week, <laughs> is incredibly awesome. And uh, I, I love this guy; he's a good guy. You know, thanks, boss. Um, you know. You know the day that the day that I, the day that um, the day that he walks into that room, five and a half years ago, my wife felt something and said, "Hey Kong, this is the guy that's gonna take our life to the next level." Like I'm telling you guys, I think people changes for two reasons. One is is they're obviously unhappy with where they're at, and you know they're unhappy. The other hey, one, Kong, you see this, you see this building right here. I bought this ten years ago. I owe fifty thousand on it. Um, I'm, I'm putting it out there right now, 175. It brings in 2100 a month. It's turnkey, um, and uh, it's a pretty good day. <laughs> you guys, he owns a lot, 500 plus units here in uh, Maryland. And I started out in a one bedroom apartment with nothing. I started out real estate with 10 grand I had saved up, and it wasn't, it wasn't even quite 10 grand. And now I, I do quite a bit. Yep, you um, guys. It's all about taking actions, and so many people talks about it and actually don't do. All right, you guys, so take action, take massive actions, and... Um, um, Kong, check it out, check it out. This is my professional arts building. Um, it was only 14% full when I got it. Look who my first floor tenant is. Right there, Kong, the corner building right there. Yes, you can see that. With the first floor tenant, Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce now rents for me on a 10-year Right there, lease. you guys. Very excited about that building. Big yellow building. And actually, I couldn't have done it without the state, uh, federal government, and city. They all put money in, made it possible. And um, I'm very proud to be the owner of the Professional Arts Building. You guys, I'm actually liking this. This is like a, um, this is like a, a call carpool interview. Um, and you know, you go, go back to five and a half years ago, um, right when we first met him. That's one of my tennis secretaries. That we're, one. We're, we're gonna wave to her if she sees us. Oh. I got your window locked. They rented the building. Kong, you can keep going. I'm sorry. Not a problem. You guys, five and a half years ago, he walks into the room. We're at a seminars. And, you know, and at the time we were, you know, we were comfortable, but we weren't satisfied with life. Uh, we wanted more in life. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my, here's my office building. Chamber of Commerce. Barbering from for bars beside it. There's 400 kids. There's a $40 million project going on right here on the Maryland Theater. Now, Kanye, we're in a house that was condemned that nobody fixed up for years. I got it under contract, bought it for $80,000, um, cleaned it out. Um, really, it's kind of like a whole tail. Um, sold it for $145,000. Now, the guy's doing a million dollar renovation to it. Do you guys want to see that building? My company was able to bring in 40000 in revenue uh, by buying it and selling it. And I mean, it's good for the community. It was good to uh, keep business moving. Don't tell anybody. This is a 100-room boutique hotel. I'm trying to buy it. Don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> so, so right here, right up here, you see the copper windows in the front? This building right here is being worked on right now. I sold this, uh, did very well on it, this one right here. They're fixing it up right now. I was able to uh, make, a, make a very good gain on it. One of Kong's best wholesale checks for a whole tail. <laughs> That's so, what it's equivalent to. Yeah. So the thing is, you guys, we're actually going to a closing right now. This is a wholesale deal closing. And uh, since we're out here, I thought we'll do something different for you guys. Um, actually take you guys to a closing and not just talk about it. All right. Um, and I didn't want to do this. He had to talk me into it, guys. He said, Mike, it's going to help a lot of people. They're going to really like it. It's going to give people confidence. I'm doing this for uh, the people that like his channel and uh, doing it because he's my friend. Awesome. Yeah. And it, like I said, you guys, uh, follow my mentor. He got a lot of stuff um, to share with you guys. You guys want to succeed in this business. Like, you know, I'm going to start sharing a lot of educational stuff. Awesome. So, uh, like I said, five years ago, um, it was at the time where you know we were satisfied with life, but we weren't happy where we're at. We knew that there was more, more to life, and we wanted to get away from um, you know working out, um, working all the time, and, and just want to be able to get to the uh, the point where we have uh, you know not just financial but time freedom. And uh, at the time, we were just trying to look at um, other things to do, and then got discovered real estates. Met him in Florida. And I beg him. I, I I would not take no for an answer. I said no at least five times. That's no joke. And I would not take no for an answer because I cannot go home. My wife would not let me go home um, if I don't get him to say yes. And it was just continuously. Um, I, I I would say you know just being up real. I was begging and saying, hey, you know what? What is it gonna cost? What is it gonna cost? Uh, for you to help us because at the time he was just so busy with real estate already um, and he just doesn't mentor anybody and uh, you know we, we knew that we have to get somebody that's not just talk about it but actually doing it all right you guys and a lot of times you, you want to make sure that when you do get a mentor it's like a GPS you want to make sure that it is fully updated it's not an old GPS that that, that that giving you guys all the expired information information where it's not up to today so make sure you get the right mentor and it's going to help you guys cut you know I, there's no shortcut to success but it's going to help you um get there a lot quicker um than uh if you got the wrong one all right you guys so very very important if you are going to pay for a mentor make sure that they are doing uh what they say they're doing so uh, anyways i um, got him flew out you guys can look up the tax records around here i'm all over it <laughs> you know, i give you guys five or six counties I already go to google and i'm just playing I'm really not cocky. I really don't put a lot of stuff on social media just because I, I don't, I just, I don't like to show off. But Kong's taught me something. He's taught me it's not about that. It's about that, you know, you do that. You can show people what you do. You can inspire people. You can help people. So that's what's caused me to relaunch my social media and to kind of show people what I've been able to do from nothing and what I've created. I mean, in the next two years, I'm going to hit 50 million in real estate holdings, not to mention by the things I'm doing because of real estate. Awesome. And you guys, my mentor, he gives out free information and he loves help. He loves to help people. And I, I know love that helping people so much. I started Aria. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, people go into his office. He, no, not, not, not saying that you guys are going to go no, to his no, office. I shut, people used to show up in my office too much and call me too much. I love helping people, but it was too much. So I shut that down. I'll give people advice here and there. I'm thinking about doing, you know, maybe like a, a three day like mastermind or getaway for 10 or 20 folks. I know how to take people to the next level in real estate. I've been through many levels. I'm very good at it. Now that I'm slowing down, I'm trying to figure out what more to do with life. And Kong's here saying, Mike, give people advice, give people advice, come on my podcast, help people, help people, help people. So I am looking into it. So, you know, I'm glad I could help a little bit today. I hope you guys got something out of it. And hopefully we get to the wholesale. It starts in six minutes. We're going to cut through this parking lot now and <laughs> get around this because I'm stuck in a light all right you guys I'm gonna end this video for now and then um, I'll catch uh, touch base with you guys again once we get there right all right you guys we just got here to the title company so let me take my charger yeah turn off the car turn off the car let's get out You guys, if you do enjoy this video and if it add any kind of value to you, 
If you like it, don't forget to smash those thumbs up. We really try to get out of our way to do this video for you guys. I'll drop my uh, my mentor Instagram and his YouTube this, channel in the this, description. This, this settlement attorney, I've been working with him for 12 years. He's not my only settlement attorney, but he's done over 800 closings with me. How are you doing? Pretty good. World live uh, TV right now. How's it going? Adam is my wholesale buyer. I've known Adam for a couple years. Actually, I'm very, very good friends um, with Adam's. Is it your cousin? Yep. With his cousin Dave. Uh, Dave had done three or four real estate deals before me. I sold him his first flip house. He wrote me a really nice letter about seven or eight years ago for it. Really nice letter. On 876 Pine Street. Since then, he bought it, sold it, made 40 grand, and was able to buy it again yeah. and sell it again. This is his cousin Adam. Adam's buying a great rancher for me today. He's going to put 30000 in it, maybe have 10000 in surprises. And what do you think you're going to make on it? Uh, surprise. I think I'm going to keep it for personal home. You're going to keep it for your personal yep. home? Surprise. So. And I, and I knocked the price down 15000 <laughs> I wanted to tell him when he sold it for 40000 more than I told him that that I shouldn't have knocked it down 15000 But what he didn't know, if he would have told me it was his personal home, I would have knocked it down to where I did anyway because I like helping a good person out. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Awesome, man. Congrats. I've been great. Yeah. How's everything been going? Not pretty good. Yeah. So where's Dave? Uh, uh, at the honey buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Go, Adam. Thank you How are you going? How's good. business? It's good. good. Hi there. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Premier title. You guys, this is, this is as raw as it can be. Oop, I got a little, wait, hold on a second. Just trying to wipe. Hey, Colin, come here. So this is Richard Vieira, he's from Boston. I first started working with him when um, oh, probably boy. about 11, 12 years ago. How you doing? Richard has done seven to 800 settlements for me. Is that a correct statement, Richard? That's correct, I've done a ton Richard, for him. Hey, when one thing pops in your head about me, like you saw me come and not do much, come from nothing, can you just share like a three minute Mike story where you saw him star, what he does now, what you think of me? I, th I think Mike's amazing. He always keeps his word, whatever he says he does. Um, I've done numerous settlements with him, like I said, and he also, again, when he says he's going to do something, he falls how, through. How did, I, how did I start out, Rich? My first year or two with you, what I, what I, was I doing compared to what I'm doing now? Oh, yeah. He's doing probably what? Triple, oh, oh, I'm doing over 100 what deals you're doing? a year. I'm yeah. doing 10x. I like 10x what yeah. I was doing. Yeah, yeah. So, so, Rich, this year... Contract all, assignments, this subject year, to... This year already, we've all. had over 40 closings with just your title company. Yep. Is that a correct statement? That's correct, yeah. So, so um, I actually done. bought... When I first got into real estate, I never realized I'd flip million dollar homes. I did my first two $1 million plus homes in DC, a, a very competitive market about five or seven years ago. And Rich, what did we buy about two months ago? How much did I buy it for? And what am I selling it for in Chevy Chase? Oh, jeez. Uh, I, I bought it for 830,000. We're selling it for 1.3. I'm doing another million, million yep. dollar single family. I couldn't resist. Yeah. Picked it up, worked through the title issues, and we're good to Tell go. Tell about the title issues. That was a freaking headache. It took yeah. four months to close. Un, uh, an unreleased deed of trust on the property. The, um, the deed of trust was from a company Wells Fargo bought that went out of business 30 years ago. It made the settlement take four weeks to close because of a good title company. So and we the it down. Yep. It, it took a while. And he was good He was good to the purchasers. I mean, he was good to the sellers. Worked it out with them, and they were willing to wait. And, you know, they were happy, so it was good to go. I'd rather buy a one I'd rather buy a house for eight hundred and sell it for one point two than ten houses and make twenty five apiece. So look at where you're started, have a dream and you can do it too. Just a little nervous guys, I'm sorry. Uh, how are you guys doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm playing. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Hi, I've been met you this morning. Yeah. Good. Mike Fitzgerald. Yeah. We're doing a hey. little YouTube video, social media, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you doing? I think so I, I called you, you today know, so you got the pizza pro to pay off. Yeah, that's right there. Uh, so, okay. And also, so, 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 guys, let's go in here to the conference. So, now, enjoy okay. So, this is what they gave you for a payoff. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to meet the sellers now. They're very nice people. It's always good. 
I always have my acquisition people, and you know, you guys have relationships with, with your sellers. You know, it's it's usually a smooth transaction. Although Adam has bought one for him before, his uh, cousin Dave has bought fifteen to twenty from him. So it's very nice to uh, sell one to Adam finally. Glad I could give Adam a great deal in his own house. That feels good. I love the property, by the way. I want to make sure that. No, we're waiting on Richard to get to cut one of them. Awesome. Normal at a settlement, the settlement company runs 10 or 20 minutes over. Again, that's why I don't go to many of my settlements. But we got this one. He has great snacks here, though, Colin. Show him the snacks. Anybody want anything to drink? You can see I feel pretty comfortable here. I do a lot of settlements. <laughs> Okay, there you One piece of this candy. And here you go. 
So sorry about the stress of taping settlement, guys. <laughs> stress? What did you say? Sorry, taping settlement. Move on to uh, yeah, Green, Greenwood, uh, All right. South Carolina. You ever see how cheap property is down there? And homes, where we're going? That little bit of money will pay, probably pay cash for it all. See that, so. But we want land for well accepted market first. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to talk to my niece and give me 10 acres like they promised years ago. And hey. she says, uh, they told me years ago, you, you move down here, I'll give you 10 acres. I said, so I'm going to keep wondering if I get it. There you go. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, they, they've they been wanting to move down there for but about 30 some years. But we've been wanting to too. Mother's got How much acres does she have? 90. Wholesale price yeah. that he funds. <laughs> yeah. Just got recorded. I got it. I got another one of your cards in the mail. Uh huh. How many people start during the gold rush? Can you guys do me a favor? Yeah. No comments. So, 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 real quick, both sellers, being the nice people they are, you have two housing referrals for me, and she said she knows another lady who got one of my postcards. She has a housing referrals. So, at one settlement, I got referred three more houses. I call it my three for one. There you go. I'll have to make you back down. Can you read these? So, thank you. I, I got a vote. I know, I know. You called me on it? No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was just talking about you. You mean 2402916076 is your number? Yep. Man, that's a good memory. Yeah, that is a good memory. I don't even know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> What's your number, sir? Same thing. Okay, so look, I'm going to call you guys about these free referrals. Don't forget about me. Larry, you remember Larry? Yeah. yeah. Larry's going to call you. Okay. Larry works with you. So, hey, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. See you. Yeah, Bye. 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 Just figured it'd be. Hey, yeah, I'll put it that way. I like the dress. I got them for me. It's really pretty on you. I'll take a little more. So, it looks great. It looks great. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, so I want to show him the video that's going on the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't went to a closing or took a picture in a minute. Day with Kong. I'm all up in it. <laughs> come on, Kong. Did you just come out here? All right, hey, yes, you guys. Uh, hey, Adam. Me and Ben decided we're staying there twice a week. Good. That's Adam, he needs to be country. Well, they can't wipe us out and they can't knock us down. They gotta get okay, so the closing. So we put the property under contract for... Uh, what do we put that under contract? We put it under contract for seventy thousand. We just sold it for eighty-five thousand on a wholesale. We put it under contract for two weeks. Two weeks ago, we settled today, and my company netted fifteen thousand, uh, which is uh, good. You know, we do a lot of advertising, and I don't usually go to a lot of my settlements, but um, it was a good settlement. I set it up. Usually, I don't have the buyer and seller there at the same time. Um, just not to confuse anything, but being that Kong wanted to show you guys this, I, I had everybody there at once. I went there to make sure everything went smooth and went great. The sellers had quite the personality, and the cool part was the sellers referred me three other sellers while selling me their house. How many of you guys ask your sellers at closing if you're already doing real estate to they know anybody else who would like to sell a house? I can tell you I've bought dozens of homes that way. 
There it is, you guys. <clears throat> Just so you guys don't get confused, that's why we're at the closing table. There's a seller and the buyer all at once and typically we don't want to set it up like that but this is just the purpose of making the video for you guys all right take care i'll see you guys in the next video that's it for today i'm done um actually we might be able to um maybe tomorrow i'm not sure if it's today or tomorrow but i'll take you guys out and show you guys a couple of my mentors building that he has um accumulate over the years and uh they're, we're they're about to pass the grand piano building if they want to see it uh, I, we actually show them that when we're when we're on our way here. So I'll oh, take no, some. We, we showed them the professional. Oh, gotcha. Okay. We didn't show them the grand. Gotcha.